Hello everyone, it's King Hedgehog here, and welcome back to Founders Fortune Season 3, Episode number 14 already. Alright, so we are back here at uh, our Temptation Island for Founders Fortune teenagers below the age of, uh, well, teenagers, adolescent below the age of 26, I think it is. Um, so we've got Charlie, Bala, Oliver, Bob, Lewis, also Lewis. We have uh, Robin Williams and Stewie Griffin Twist. So we're doing really, really well, although we have a relationship down to a friend here. Let's have a look who that was. Is yep. that yours? All right, so Oliver, he's a friend. Not bad, not not good. Um, He is not too happy with Lewis Griffin, though. Probably because she looks like his mom. Not too sure about that. All right, so in the last episode, we actually expanded our uh, animal pen here. And we've moved them over a little bit further back, so we have more space for our farming, given um, once it hits. Now, Louis, you are actually done with your inspiration for your masterpiece. So how about, exactly, you come over here and you start caring. Oh, you cannot care for any of that either. All right, so Louis cannot. Also, Louis cannot either. Because we have no skill points there either. Alright, so the cotton field, it is only Baba who can take care of that. Alright, well, let's speed up the time. Let's uh, get through the winter. And let's see that we uh, expand as much as possible. Research-wise, we are working on the strong watchtowers, which is nearly done. We're at 96 out of 100. Then we have weapon forging, armor forging, and then we can finally go for the big old ship building. Now, we didn't build a shipyard yet in any of the previous seasons, so I'm really curious as to what we can actually do with that once we have it. And who knows, we might actually be able to go and explore new islands. Let's have a look. All right, so we still did not finish off the flooring here. Um, and that's going to be for this one. There you go. And let's give him also now the nice pathway from his door. Exactly. You don't have anything for that matter, and neither do you. And I'm pretty sure you don't have either. Exactly, there we go. So all that is now nicely set. Let's get uh, the edges around there as well. So they all have their nice gardens. Well, partial gardens going on. All right, so for you and you. There we go. Let's get all of the corners nicely done. Now we have the higher ones on this side. And then we take the small edge corners on the front. Basically to indicate that that is the entrance now we have the small ones yes also here next to there and that's going to be a corner look at all of this here making all sorts of progress and you and then last but not least as spring kicks in there you go that is this one sorted which means this is the perfect timing to set all of this yes you chop away on that buddy give us some more iron will probably come in useful one day. I'm pretty sure we're going to need a lot. Ah, strong watchtowers is unlocked. Beautiful weapon forging. Please continue with that. And then we are down to the last bits of our research. Which is good. I'm really going to enjoy that. There we go. Alright, we'll finish off the edge on this side. There, look at that. And for you. Perfect. So then we have the private garden on that side. Now I know we can drag the um, edges, but it just looks icky every once in a while. I don't know. Sometimes I have the feeling that it tries to put it on the half blocks. But so far it seems to be going okay. So we'll there. Just use the dragging, which is actually good. So we're spending some wood. Also, Lewis is now a level 4 forester. Alright, so we can't put anything on that block yet. Um, yeah, after that, can you please remove this one? We can uh, use the wood again, which is good. And we go back to decoration, and we have the edge right there. Yeah, just go take a nap. Just think like you did a, a, work, a day of hard labor. Like that you can dream like a baby. All right, there is this one. 
Yeah, we got, then we have one more on this side, and we are nearly done. All right. And last but not least, there we go. Now, I think that is all of them. Yep, definitely looks like. Nice. All right, now, do we want to get some plants in there as well? Uh, we're basically waiting just for the research to be completed and we're spending the rest of the time making it all look nice and pretty. Um, military, is there anything that we unlocked? Yeah, the strong watchtowers. The dummies we have. The forge, we need more stone. We have a boy who's worship. Do we have a forge? Yeah, we do. Perfect. All right, so we've got the small watchtower, which we have right there. And then we have the strong one, but we need more stone for it. Um, is anybody mining stone? Yep. Bob, you're building, huh? But you are also our miner. Here, let's give you uh, that one right here. Give you the master outfit for that as well. Not that we're going to be using it, but it is always good to have. Now, and then for your mining, mining stone is on the top of your list. Yet we have none. Bob, please go and do your job. I mean, you've got the master miner's outfit. You're actually wearing it. Talking about master outfits. Um, do we have any outfits that we haven't given yet? Master Miner and Master Forester. Alright, so we have an additional Master Miner. Um, in that case, Ollie. Ah, but you need more points before you can wear that. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, maybe we sell it. I'm not sure yet. Let's give you then um, the Master... Which master clothing do we want to give you? Master craftsman, no. Master scholar, yeah, let's do that. And... The trader has arrived. Now, we have more than enough coins, so I'm not really interested. Um, we might actually want another master farmer. And maybe we get an additional master forester. I mean, it's better to have these clothing than to not have them and need them. Uh, Master Forester. There we go. Alright, so that is on the way. Louis, you are a farmer. You... Can you use... You don't have the Master Outfit yet. Alright, so you need to work more on chopping trees. Also, Louis, can you get back to work? Um, these people enjoy living out in nature. Baba is busy over there, so how about you come here and cut the trees? He's working away on the stone, which is good. Now let's get ourselves the strong watchtower. Right there, look at that. All right, ah, the trader has arrived, so time has slowed down again. We put that back up to normal. See everybody running around. Oh, we're getting some strawberries there. Quite a lot of strawberries, actually, which is great. Now, people are eating the strawberries because we do not have any other cooked foods at the moment. Um, I need to get our farmer's yeah. life sorted. So, cook food and tend to fields. That's all that you need to do. So, your next task is going to be harvesting uh, tomatoes. Not potatoes, tomatoes. Tomato. All right, Baba, you are the yes. Uh, you're the scholar, that is good. You're working on stone. You are tending to fields. All right, you're working on the strawberries. That's absolutely fine. Um, now, you have points available. Only one, though. Let's give you sowing of strawberries as well. So when you take them out, you can put them back in. Look at that. Trader is leaving. Okay, bye. Not really that we have any need for you at the moment. We have enough coin to pay everybody. Everybody happy with their pay, actually? You are. Yep. Well, that's what you want. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Baba, you want more. Let's mm -hmm. overpay everybody. Mm -hmm. Need to make sure that we have enough money, though. Yep. You're good with the five. Yep. You're happy with the two, but we'll give you five. Yep. Payments in coins. Yeah, well, how about no? You want to get a child dedication point, and you want to be great friends with Charlie Chaplin. Well, we could, but we will not. 
All right, Oliver, you are now a level 29 scholar. Maybe after he is done with the research, we could actually spend some time getting him to teach Robin and Stewie something. I mean, I'm not sure he's going to be a good teacher. He has the teaching skill. Then again, we've all been to high school. There's plenty of people who allegedly have the teaching skill. Okay, I had enough trash talk here for teachers. They're doing an awesome job. Absolutely, most of them are. Some of them are absolute pricks, but they do amazing work for the youth. All right, you are lost, yeah. Oh, Lewis, did I just notice that you do not have... You do not have a watering can, is it? No, you do not. Do I have a watering can? I do. All right, so Lewis, um, go and fetch yourself your watering can and then continue with doing whatever you were doing. Now Bob has inspiration. Inspiration has struck Bob like a bolt of lightning. He's got an idea for a great masterpiece and can't stop thinking about it. All right, buddy, whatever makes you happy. Here's the wood you want to have. The cloth. You need a carpenter's workshop in your house. All right. Um, which one was the carpenter's workshop? This one? It was. Bob, which one is your... What is your casa? Your casa is all the way over there. Come over here, buddy. There, look at that. Now you need to drink beer. Yeah, let's go and get all pissed. Drink some beer. Here, we'll skip the gathering of crystals. That is um, Oliver's task. He can do that all by himself. Not too worried about that. Bob just woke up and decided, you know what, this is the perfect time for a beer. All right, now, yeah, my last pay there was really high, so much money, I know, but... Um, I would really like to have something that we can have them spend their money on. Basically to improve their quality of life. Um, yeah, Bob, while we're at it, please do not forget to eat. The problem is, Charlie... Yeah, Bob, you were eating? Yeah, good. Um, if Charlie would not be so, such an absolute sausage, and he would actually make sure that there is food to eat, we don't have pumpkins, don't have potatoes, don't have potatoes, don't have milk? We don't have milk. All right. All right. Um, what do we have here? We don't have apples. All right, so Charlie, got a job for you. Go and gather some apples. Exactly. You go and get some apples and then you can turn that into... Uh... Oi, get back here. And after that, go and cook some food. People want the good food, Charlie. People want the good food. That is your responsibility. And that you run out of potatoes, that's on you. You are the farmer. You're the one who is so responsible for everything that has to do with food. And see, you're making fruit salad. Everybody running back home, eating some fruit salad. And then with a full stuffed tummy, they're all too tired and they go to sleep. See, look at how much she likes her watering can. She goes and takes a nap with it. How cute. All right, back to work. Um, so we're doing fairly well with the animals. Now, mm -hmm. Lewis, I moved your tending to fields above the caring of animals. Let's swap those two around again. Um, and I think we need an additional person to start looking after the farm. We've got Charlie, we've got Lewis. Yep. Bob is now working on his masterpiece. Maybe. Harvesting of apples. Ah, I removed that from you, isn't it? Well, now it is part of your tasks again. Nobody had the task. Um, all right, so we have Baba who can support. Basically, everybody can support, but I think I need less of a miner. 
and more of a farmer at the moment. Now he doesn't really have any skills. So let's get your care for animals up. Harvesting apples up. And we'll make you a farmer. Then we've got three farmers and a side job of my mining. Now I know you don't have the tools for it at the moment. But you're working on your masterpiece anyway, so that's okay. Um, and then after that, I think we need another wooden watering can. Exactly. Alright, we hear a dung dung dung. Not sure who's unhappy. Also, Louis hurt her arm. And it is the last day of spring. Baba. -ba. Mm -hmm. Um, you know that your main priority is being the doctor, right? Yes. And why is that not ticked? Uh, you know, at least, yes, there we go. Why did I not have that ticked? I am such an absolute idiot. So I've been complaining all this time that I need to tell her every time that something needs to be fixed. Well, somebody needs to be fixed. And then I don't have to please go and fix your col your colleagues, colonists, um, neighbors, whatever we want to call it. All right. So we are now working away on the apple trees. That is good. So they are nearly fully grown. That would be great. Bob is working away on his masterpiece, I hope. Bob? Mm -hmm. How are you eating? All right, all right, I'll give you that. Baba is now level 8 forestry. That's good. Yep. Do I have any interesting points I can spend? Two points available, master outfit, and we are completely done for forestry for Baba as well. Nice. Okay, so Baba is going for a chit chat. Let's um, have a look how are our relations going. Yes. Um, I think we need to just make sure. Go over and kiss her. Wait, hold that thought. Hug her and kiss her some more. We need to keep your uh, love meters up. Yep. You guys are doing yep. okay. Um, you are not having much luck with uh, also Lewis, isn't it? I mean, I could try to get you to go after Charlie. Maybe that's a thing. But Charlie's already with Baba, so not gonna happen. Um, oh yeah, you guys said something. Well, he doesn't really have any interesting perks going on. We do have three points, so we could make him a permanent optimist. Yep, let's add that for him. Then, also, yes, yes. Um, we can also make you an optimist. There you go. And Baba is already optimistic, and she still has four points to spend. Um, let's remove her overeater skill. There. All right, then Charlie, you are also optimistic. Let's also remove your overeater, which is going to help us in the long run. All right, so you only have one skill point. That's okay. Lewis has two. Um, tireless, which is good. Optimist, animal lover, and a killer. Well, they don't really mind any of those as long as she keeps it to herself. And you have just one skill point. All right, so at least we spend our points to good use, I think, probably. All right, so we have again more than enough wood. This is starting to clear up nicely. We're starting to stock up on strawberries. 118 strawberries already. 113 tomatoes. Maybe we should um, put the campfire back in action. And say we want some baked tomato and grilled meat. Keep in stock. Five of each. Well, the other five hedge. Ah, okay, so we get to choose four or six. Well, then do six, which means Charlie's going to have something to do. After he's done tending the fields, he's still first busy. Um, yeah. Well, Baba can also cook food. 
I might get her to cook some food in between. Look at that. I mean, some cooked campfire food is always good to have. There you go. Yeah, spend some wood. Make some uh, grilled meat. Pretty sure that looked like an apple or a tomato. Masterpiece completed. Bob has completed his masterpiece. Proudly, he shows the result of his labor to the rest of the village. He created a tool chest. All right, Bob, show us your tool chest. And only in the politest way. That's nice. Now, what does it do? When you're busy working, nothing is more annoying than to have to look for your screwdriver. Again, with this tool chest, all nearby villagers work 50% faster. I think we need this tool chest here. Ah, that doesn't really work now, does it? Um, let's get it then. Let's move this over. That covers exactly that. Beautiful. I mean, that is a highly annoying location, but it would cover all of this. Alright, we'll leave it there for just now. And then let's have a look how it's going to go in the longer run. Although I would like to have it here. It's already summer. Time is absolutely flying today. Now, do we have enough for a party? No, because we only have 38 beers. And we do not have enough pumpkins. Hmm. Alright, but we're starting to work on the potatoes here. Look at that. Um, did we make... Bob? Yep. Did you make the tools? Please go and make the tools. Because you need a watering can. You already have a watering can. Bob? Yep. Equip the watering can. Exactly. Then there's no need to make another one, is there? Here. Now, you go back to where you came from. Mm -mm -mm. A weapon forging unlocked. Beautiful. Last one before we go for the shipbuilding. Ooh. So we're on episode 14. 15, 16, 17. So 15, we should be able to get that part done. Then 16, we should finish the... So 17 might actually be one of the last episodes here of the season. It's going really fast this time. Then again, that is the difference when you uh, have less threats and make life a little bit easier. Then again, that's exactly what this one was about. We wanted to explore everything. And we did. All right. Okay, guys, now, there's still time. I haven't started the recordings, obviously, of Season 4 yet. So let me know down below in the comments what is it that you want me to use for the settings for Season 4 here of Founder's Fortune. So far, we have already said that we're going to be playing on Vanilla, which means no mods. The only mod I will be using is going to be... Uh, the UI because I like to have my animals up here I like the extra symbols here just to understand what is going on and I don't think that should affect any of the gameplay at all so that is one um, we're going to be playing with the pesky pirates on and also the tiki goblins are going to be there which is already set now the difficulty levels and the size of island is still what to be decided um, I think we're still going to go for a larger island um and the difficulty settings i know some of you want to see a real hardcore playthrough um i want to have a look if there's maybe a level in between to not play on normal but not to play on super hardcore either but let's have a look what is out there all right so you're working on that yeah let's get the edges out there it does really start to look really really nice yeah we have the strawberry patches and strawberries are only in spring. Now we're working on wheat, which is good. Um, we have no more cooked food. Charlie. Yeah. Cooked food is your highest priority. We have apples. We've got tomatoes. We've got plenty of wood. Why are we not making cooked food? 
We have none in stock whatsoever. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? So when I start complaining to you, that's when you decide to start making some, huh? Well, uh -huh, look at you. Look at you making the fancy stuff. We're making some cheese because somebody's looking after the animals again. Fair enough. Um, All of them are looking pretty well, though, for tamed. So they're all pretty well taken care of. Which I think is good. All right, so we are well in summer on our way to fall. Uh, we need to look after our tomatoes. How many do we have? 75 only, 24 apples. Um, well, these apple trees are still growing. Growth process, 98.5%, which means that one is nearly fully grown. How are you doing? You need care, you need care. You couldn't care less. All of you need care. You are also doing really well. Alright, so these ones are doing really well. This one is well growing. Here, here we go. So this one's also getting some love. Now, this one's still going to take a little bit longer. But this one and this one should be a fully grown apple tree anytime now. Anytime now. 99.3. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it needed some care. Needed some care. It had some care now. There we go. 99.4. Charlie is a level 13 farmer. 99.5. Come on, six. You can do it. Seven. Eight. Like New Year's Eve here. And there we go, 99.9. .9. And can we have an apple tree? There you go, look at that. Now we've got four. One, two, three, four. Nice. Are you looking? 94%. You just got some love and attention from Lewis or also Lewis? Also Lewis. Trader has arrived. Mm, do we need anything from the trader? We might as well have a look. Um, also Lewis, I know that you're doing important work. Um, Lewis is doing important work. Oliver, yeah. Um, please come over here and you do the trading today. Look at you being all sorts of positive. Pleasant conversations, optimistic, parenthood, received high salary, good dreams, saw a great painting. Look at you being all a happy chap. Alrighty, Oliver, if you could, um, waggle your tail. Why do we have eight pigs only? Did we lose a pig because we didn't take care of it? Or did we murder too many? Alright, yeah, of course. Now we can buy stuff. Um, wheat. We only have 18 at the moment. So we might actually buy, well, 12 of them. Wow. Um, don't really have a ton of stuff now, do we? Um, why do we have a pig less? Got 10 meat and potatoes, which is good. Um, but what I actually wanted... <laughs> I'm very tempted to buy a pig just to get back to 9. Maybe it was just aging. He just got old. They murdered the wrong one. Um, apple strudel. Just 14 is spending so much money. Spending so much money. There, that's better. So at least we're still making money on it. So 20 breads, 14 apple strudels. Well, we're buying five. Um, there's only 12 wheat, which is actually fairly expensive. So let's get you out. So we're earning a little bit more money. And... I can sell you that. Good. Anything else? Going once. Going twice. Sold. All right, so why do I have a pig less? Do I have so much meat? Plenty of raw meat. Stop murdering me cows. Exactly. Let's stop murdering. We've got more than enough uh, raw meat at the moment. Let's grow the population. 
And then once the population is fully grown, we can have a look that we can reduce it. There you go. Much better. Um. Boy. Yeah. You. Build. Go back, dear. Build it so I can move the sofa back. Although I don't even know why the sofa is in that location. Here. And we also completely forgot to have a look what it is that we needed to do with it. Um, so, you cannot care for anything. Well, go for a nap. After that, we can always have a look that we care for something else. Alright, so, um, Ollie, mm -hmm. yeah, and after that, you're continuing your research, right? Yes, analyze the crystals. Analyze. Analyze everything. We want to know it all. Yeah, go for baked food. Whose house is it? Robert Williams. Well, he's just a kid after all. And apparently he has all the good stuff. Yes, and look at that. Nice and fast now. I like that. Tons of food, but then again, we also bought quite a few of it. Apple strawberries will still have five. We've got 16 bread to go, eight cheese, 12 fruit salad. We have no more milk left, but slowly we're getting more. Talking about it. See, look at that. Been milking the cows. Yeah, this new setup is working much, much better. We get more uh, raw foods coming out of it. Now, and it is nearly full. Um, yep. Bob, what are you wandering around? Uh, you have no skill whatsoever for that, is it? Um, all right. So, yeah, we definitely need to get you to work on that. Um, and then Lewis, I'm going to be moving this. You're going to be caring less for animals, but more tending to fields because we need more raw foods from you. Plus, we've got Bob who's going to help out um, and helping you getting the milk and caring for the piggies, making sure that we have nine of each. I'm pretty sure Bob accidentally murdered one. There you go, picking up some apples. Beautiful. I mean, 18, 16, 8, 16, not 18, 16. That's not how it works. Bob and Stu were enemies. Relationship disliked. But Robin uh, did not impress also Lewis. Eight strawberry cake. Is that your favorite food? I'm not sure. Might become your favorite food, though. Robin Williams is her nemesis. He's your cousin. Be nice to him. He's just a kid. All right. So research 20 out of 50 done. There you go. Relationship friends. See, it can be done. All right. So you're finally working on getting more food. You're working on doing absolutely nothing. But that's okay. Do what you enjoy, kiddo. Do what you enjoy. I was looking for raw foods. 1588. No pumpkins yet because we need to wait for fall before we can do that. Do we have more beer? No. Can we make more beer? Absolutely none because we have no pumpkins left. Pumpkin spice beer. Yeah, you go and eat a yep. little. Yes, yes. You're no longer an overeater, so that's all good. All right, and everybody here is vast asleep. Now, let's have a quick peek before we close up. You want to sit on a chair? Well, we can do that. Here. We'll just line that up. Then you want to get a shelf for food from the kitchen in your house. Which one's your house? Um, dude, where? I wouldn't even know. Alright, so we move your table and your chair. We'll move your sofa over here. Um, maybe actually get you here and we move you here. There. And now we can try live shelf for kitchen food. There. Then we move you over to that side. Then we will also give you straight away one of these before you're going to start crying about that one. All right. Um, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie. Mm -hmm. All right. And now you want to talk to Robin Williams? Mm -hmm. oh, yep. Kiddo, where are you at? Wait for it. There. He wants to talk to you. He'll eventually pass by. Don't worry about that. Alright, Baba, what do you want? Do you want to get a 
<laughs> a shelf of baked goods in your house. All right, can do, can do. We've already given one to your friend as well, so there you go. Not too much of a hassle. What else do you want? Uh, you want to be great friends with Bob the Builder? Does Charlie know about that? Ollie, what do you want? Great friends with Lewis Griffin. Um, you're in a relationship with also Lewis. I'm not sure that also Lewis will approve if you become great friends with Lewis. She's going to definitely think. She's definitely going to think something of that. There you go. My language edge. Starting to use it. You've got that big gaping hole in front of your face. And you're clapping it about, but how about you try to use it to form words which can be understood by other people? Okay, guys, now we are uh, research 32 out of 50 with uh, the last one before we can start to research the ship building. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button and do remember to let me know uh, what settings you want me to use for season four. And then I'll see you guys here for more Founders Fortune season three. And that'll be uh, episode number 15.